Hey guys, this is Sparkler, and uh, this is going to be a tutorial for a mining system in RPG Maker VX. So I have set up here just a, uh, a little cave mine thing. Uh, you can set up your own, but it needs to have two rooms, that's the only requirement. Alright, so first things we want to do is go into our database, and on the items tab, create two new items. Uh, the first one we are going to call pickaxe and choose a graphic there there's a nice pickaxe down in the middle near the bottom and I call the description just a small pickaxe or something and set scope to none and then that one to never and the consume is no. And that takes care of the first item. And then the second one is going to be a metal of your choice. I chose bronze, and it's going to be an ore. Bronze ore. And then down, there's a row down here that is has a lot of rocks and gems. I'm just going to use that little coin right there. Okay. In the description, I said a mixture of bronze and rock. And then the scope is uh, none, uh, never, and the consume, no. Alright, so that takes care of our items. And now, uh, you need to choose one of the crumbled rocks from tile set D there. I chose that one because I'm doing a bronze. And bronze is kind of brown, goldish, you know. Alright, so then put one of those crumbled rocks on your map wherever you want there to be a rock for your, um, for mining on. And now we're going to go in the vent layer and put one on top of the first rock there and the trigger is going to be action button and then our graphic uh, is on tile set D choose the rock that is not crumbled and click OK and the priority is going to be same as characters and I'm just gonna call mine like bronze mine or something. Alright, so the first thing we want to do uh, when they talk to it is show some text that says something like, do you want to break open the rock? And then we're going to show choices, yes and no. And no is cancel. Okay, then uh, when it, when they say yes, we want to do a conditional branch. And on the fourth page, check um, the item pickaxe in inventory. Okay, and then when it says else, we want to make a show text that says uh, you don't have a pickaxe because you can't open rocks if you don't have a pickaxe yeah and then uh, go back up um, to right under it and choose the variable control variables and make one called mining right there and we're going to uh, make it a random number between 0 and 1 okay and then we're going to make another conditional branch that is going to check the variable mining that we made yeah. And we're going to check 
if it is a constant of zero. Click OK. And if it is, we are going to play a sound effect, uh, which are on page two, the sound effects. And I found one that I liked. It was Earth 7. there and then I had the volume down to about 50 and I put the pitch all the way up but that's your choice and then we're going to show text that says something like there was nothing in the rock so this is when they break it open but there's nothing to get And then we're going to use the erase event command. And then under else, we're going to play a sound effect, the same one as before. So I chose Earth 7. Yeah. And then volume halfway down and pitch all the way up. And then we're going to show text that says you got some bronze or or something. Whatever metal you chose. And then we're going to change their items. Increase the bronze ore by one. Okay. And then we're going to erase the event. And that's the event for you. So pretty much they have a 50 50 chance of getting the iron or steel or bronze or whatever you chose out of the rock. So now we're going to copy it. And we're going to paste that same event over each of the crumbled uh, rock stones. So this way, when we erase the event, it'll look like the rock crumbled and the remains of it are left right there. And so when we leave the room, the rocks will come back and we can, uh, we can open them up again. So create a transfer. to the other room you created. And then the same thing to go back on the other side. Transfer player to the mine. Okay, so that's that. Uh, now we're going to save it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like in-game. Alright, so we go over there and open the treasure chest, and there's our pickaxe. Now we come over here. Do we want to break the rock? Yep. And we got some bronze. Do you want to break this rock? Yep, we got some more bronze. Yes. But there was nothing in that rock. Yes. And we got some bronze. So now we leave the room. And when we come back, the rocks are back. And we can break them again and try to get some more bronze. I uh, hope this helped you. Um, that's all. I do accept requests for tutorials, so let me know if you need help. 